Hey guys, welcome back to our Two Minute Tuesday. My name is Felipe here at Aviator Zone Academy, and today we're gonna to be talking about EOTs. Emergency locator transmitters are found on airplanes, on boats, and even hikers sometimes carry them. They're very crucial to our aviation safety and allow us to find an aircraft in the unlikely event that the aircraft goes down. EOTs work very simply. They have a G meter, and once that G meter is activated in an airplane, it sends off a frequency on 121.5 and now the new modern EOTs on 406 as well. 406 and 121.5, what am I talking about here? Well, one, it's just transmitting on what we normally pick up in our aviation radios in our aircraft or also what search and rescue use to actually fine tune and, and, and find the aircraft. And 406 actually is a signal that goes to our satellites. Back in the day, we used to have 121.5 satellites circling the earth and they would pinpoint where these EOTs are. We don't have those anymore, so we're now relying on pilots to monitor 121.5 in order to determine if an aircraft is down, unless you have a 406 EOT. A 406 EOT transmits that information or a specific ID, hex ID, I believe it's called, to the Air Force Search and Rescue Coordination Center, and with that little ID, they can determine who owns that EOT and what does it belong to. Most cases, if you have an airplane and it goes off accidentally, you're gonna get a call from the Air Force Search and Rescue Center looking to make sure that you're fine and that the aircraft is on the ground. It's very important when the aircraft comes out of maintenance to verify that the EOT is in the arm position. Not having that EOT in the arm position is not gonna activate by itself in the event of an accident. And you always wanna have that ready. Another thing pilots should always do is monitor 121.5 because for those pilots that don't have the new technology on their aircraft, they're relying on you and air traffic control to pick up that 121.5 frequency and relay that information to a search and rescue. Anyways, if you have any questions about EOT, please leave them in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next Tuesday.